Welcome back. So I only have three items in the mail today. Two are clearly PC editions. You can tell by the subject matter on them. And the third is a roundabout edition of the PC. It was a fun, very inexpensive item, which I figured just would be an interesting add. So we're going to start off with that kind of outlier item, if you will. And that is a candid photo from looks to be the late 70s of Joe DiMaggio and some couple. Uh, normally this would not be part of the PC, but got it from a very reliable source. And this was taken at a bar mitzvah around that time. Heck of a guest list for that bar mitzvah. Um, so obviously Joe DiMaggio on the left. Do not know the other two individuals in the photo. But, again, it's a source that I trust of when it was taken, they just couldn't remember. They knew the occasion, they just couldn't remember whose it was. They just remember meeting Joe DiMaggio. So, nice addition, interesting addition to the PC. And, again, inexpensive, or else I wouldn't have picked it up. Next up, we have a 1939 play ball, and this is Morris Arnovich. And you've kind of seen this card before, and at the same time, you haven't. Now, if you can tell, this card is a little short from left to right. Um, these are this is uh, not your traditional issue of play ball, and the reason for that shortcut is that this is a sample. Because that shortcut is not going to get high grade, but very nice sample card, really clear stamp. Um, PSA population on Arnovich is a fi is five total um, of any grade, so very difficult to find. Basically, any player is difficult to find. Uh, thankfully, I have Greenberg already because I don't even want to know what the prices would be these days. Uh, but to give you an example of kind of the size difference, it's a little tall and it's a little short on the side. But again, what do you expect from a hand cut card? Very few times they're going to be really nicely lined up and perfect dimensions so it'd be nice to have a little bit of border over here but you can't get everything all the time I'm just happy to have an example of this card and for 29 bucks um, I'd buy these all day long so if you ever see another sample for Morris Arnovich um, around that same price let me know because I will look for another one of these and the final item is my is a first in my Greenberg collection um, because pre prior to this I did not have any printing plates. This is from Fleer Fall Classic, and I cannot recall what year they released that product. It was late nineties, early two thousands, or maybe been during that two thousand eight the massive product release from every single company. But there's actually no information on the back, which is a little disappointing when I got it. I was happy to get this as priced right. I've seen other printing plates um, on eBay in particular for Greenberg, but the prices have always gone through the roof. Um, so I've never been able to get one. This was a buy it now situation listed late at night. So, here I just pull the trigger on that. This was also listed as a buy it now, um, which is probably the only reason I got it. It was all 39 stuff, 40, 41, in decent shape, even trimmed, but some of the rare issues have just been going crazy at auction, or at least crazy in my opinion based on previous prices. But, what can you do? That's the market. Hopefully things cool down a little bit. Um, I haven't really spent 
market price on anything so I'm kind of I have a little uh, quite a bit of a buffer in that regard and still have more stuff to sell though so hopefully those things stay high but I digress this is the haul the three items I'm adding to the collection um, a first for me a one of one another one of one for the Hank collection which is nice uh, rare find Arnovich, which I'm happy about because again haven't seen another one in two plus years of looking uh, and just an interesting candid photo um, which the person doesn't meet the PC but the situation does so that's what I got for you this time around until next time please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating. Whether it's making videos, watching, commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, more people you'll meet and the more fantastic friendships you'll form so i thank you very much for joining me hope to see you again have a good one and bye for now